Okay guys, we got a 2012 Silverado here. I'm gonna show you a quick fix for your traction. Let me give that RPM up there a little bit so you can see the traction light, the ABS light, and or brake light. You may not have brake light, but you could have brake light. So, I'm gonna tell you what you did, what caused this to happen. You plugged in some sort of a trailer or something, and uh, you popped a brake light fuse and had to replace it. So then you got this traction fuse and an ABS light fuse. Um, most of the time it's due to that. Sometimes it could be to, to stalling and, and weird idle, shaking, etc. But anyway, let me show you the quick fix. It is an ABS fuse, number two, which would be number nine in the fuse box. Let's shut this off and I'll show you where it's at. Grab this box off of here. Here's your fuse box. The right side is going to be diesel. Yours is fuel. Number nine is going to be right there. Look down here at number nine. It's going to be ABS2, 25 amp. So you're going to go to number nine right here, pull it out, replace it, and put it back in. Now let's go start the truck up. Wait for it. Wait for it. There you go. That's it. So it happened when you plugged in a trailer or something more than likely. It's a, it's a, it's a, a common thing. Um, if you have a bad light on the trailer and you end up having to replace the trailer fuse or brake light fuse or bad wiring on the trailer. Um, but what happens is it pops this fuse also. And so we replace those fuses, we fix our problem, we go on and we don't understand why those came on. So uh, if it's a traction light, you could look at your, your sensors and such. If it's an ABS light, you could look at your rear brakes and such. But if it's both lights, check that number nine fuse. Hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.